York, the most haunted city in the UK, if not one of the most haunted cities in the world. This place has it all, hauntings, poltergeists, sightings on a daily occurrence, and including numerous haunted pubs. And obviously if I'm staying here overnight, I have to go and sample a few of them. Cheers. Mead. Cheers. Cheers. So tonight I'm gonna to spend 24 hours in the most haunted place in the UK. This is the most haunted city in the UK. This is York and we are going looking for ghosts. You finally entered uh, the secondary exploring room at Valhalla in New York. How do you feel? Uh, amazing. Yeah, I do like it. Music on for the start off. You like it, but I don't. I don't see a mead sat there. If I drink one of them, I'll be down there for six weeks. I haven't drank since I was twenty-one. And you didn't like the mead. What's going on? I thought you were hot. You were. You were one of the fighter family. How do you not like mead? <laughs> no, I don't know. It's too strong. Too I'm strong? Like, wait a minute. Saying that though, you, you're on side, so I guess I understand. I'm just being full like, since I came here. I think what we need to do, we need to start mainstreaming mead more often. The next fan meet we do, we're only serving mead and that's it. Everyone's getting mead. Mead! I, I would drink one. But I just don't think right now I need a clear head for what we're about to do. What are we doing? I don't know. Yeah, I Boring to... York, so it's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> right, on to the next one. <laughs> it's a haunted <laughs> pub crawl. <laughs> right, I'm done. It's time to go looking for those doors. I've had enough to drink. All I can hear is screaming. Coming from the Golden Fleece. Right now, I am in the shambles, and this is arguably one of the best preserved medieval streets in the UK. This dates back to around the 14th century, around 1350 to 1425, and this place is diagonally, literally. If you look down there, no wonder they have Harry Potter shops down there where you can go and buy wands and all kinds of stuff. And this place is also mentioned in the Doomsday Book by William the Conqueror in like the 11th century. But yeah, we are going to go and walk down the street. Among many other streets in York, uh, a lot of the ghostly tales we're going to tell. And we're going to see if we can find anything. Let's go. <laughs> What's that? That's, That's a good question, Flex. What are we taking? We don't, do we need tents? <sighs> see, we've got the tents. I mean, we're staying in 24 hours. Yeah. Are we going to use a tent or are we going to just walk around? We'll just wander around. If we're well, keep sitting on the doorstep or something. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, I don't, I don't even think I want to go to sleep. I think I just want to walk around and just film all the cobble streets, the intertwining streets, the the shambles, and I want to experience it while no one's around, mm. feel the vibes, and get some paranormal equipment and see if we find anything. Yeah, because no one can bother us when it's like this. We can well, do pretty much what we want. Yeah. That's a good point. But there's a mini car mate behind, so we have to be. Yeah, you know, that, that R, I can't believe that R34 is still sat over there. It's uh, shocking. Definitely not a GTR, otherwise, I don't think I'd ever leave an R34 GTR sat there. No. Oh, so hey, they just, uh, just, said, just said what you said. Got my back and see that. I don't know. It's a bit weird, actually. All my lights are. I don't know if you can see that. My lights are flickering. Never normally do that. Even this one was doing it. You've got an interlaced. What? Ah, uh, it's just. Oh, whatever you German guys did at Audi in the Audi factories. Is it Audi? <laughs> if it's flickering, manufacturer problems, it's your guys' fault. Look at it. Oh my God. Look at it all flickering. You, I'm guessing you guys didn't put the anti ghost protection system on, did you? <laughs> I've just started. Look, look at that. Look at that. What the hell is going on with this that flickering? That means that your car is haunted. Either that or, well, saying that, though, it probably is. Yeah. It's probably, I mean, oh, look at that, and that's just flown over your head. Oh, my God. And it's just gone up there. That's it. Oh, oh, God. Yeah. Right, oh, let's go. Right, well, looks like I'm leaving uh, the car at the foot of this fort, monument, castle thing. And we are going in search of some of the most haunted spots in York. Okay, so the time is uh, not that. 
Oh, the time it is uh, nine minutes past one, and pretty much all the ramblers have cleared out. I'm hearing a bit of cleaning up now and again, but it's getting quieter. We are going to conduct a couple of experiments down the shambles. I'm going to get the EVP recorder out. I might get the spirit box out, but it's going to cause some noise. I'm going to get the REM pod out, the music box. I have one case with me. One lovely old case, but this case contains the best paranormal stuff that I have. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing. If you are new here, my name is Dan. I explore some of the most craziest, haunted, and most unique places on the planet. If it's paranormal, if it's adventure, if it's abandoned, or if it's quirky, I am there. And today, you are joining me in York, the shambles, the 14th century street that's been untouched for 600 years. Okay, so among some of the places on the street, there is a ton of quirky shops, and this is one of my favorites, along with another one just over here. Again, this is not sponsored. This is me showing you some of my favorite places to visit in New York. This one is where you get your portions. <laughs> you hear that as well? Yeah. Oh, I'm see. trying to get a good recording of it. Kind of eerie. It's cool. It's like cinematic. It's like spooky. It's coming from inside the shop. They've left the music on. It feels almost apocalyptic. Like we shouldn't be here. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad being here. <laughs> In the front of a shop. The good thing about this shop, they do not discriminate at all because they also uh, cater for miniature people as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There is, there is a little door right there next to the big one, so you don't have to uh, stand in a line going down here and worry about being stepped on. You can have a separate line along here, so it's always good to see that. Always give five stars reviews for that one. I heard something weird coming down that pig man. <laughs> oh, where's that coming? That music doesn't help. <laughs> Is he just, where do you go? He's just going to come out. Like he just walked through the wall. <laughs> right, stay quiet, stay quiet. Let's see if he even notices when he walks past. <laughs> he's just a classic drunk NPC. I know that script, I've seen it a million times on games. <laughs> that coding is so predictable. The portal he came out of. <laughs> okay, I'm so glad that way. He's come out, gone straight to Greg's. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone to Greg's. <laughs> I just don't know where he did he go did he go down? Where did they go? Where, yeah. There's, there's got to be an alleyway down there or somewhere. There can't be a point. It's weird. time lapse type place down there. I don't know where I'm going to zoom in. No wonder it's Diagon Alley. They're walking into the fireplaces. <laughs> somewhere. I've catch that, right? I've put the footage before this. And this is me explaining it. But there's a weird alleyway down there. People just disappear and do it making big noises. <laughs> <laughs> this music doesn't help. Weirdly heading to the red shop rings. I could be caught out there in a look. Why are the lights look like that? I'm sure there's someone trying to help then. No, I don't. I wanna, I wanna keep it where we're super stealth, and if they walk past us, let's see if they acknowledge us. I 
mean, for all you know, it could be a ghost. I'm just saying. It could be. I can't say that word. Should check if he's okay, though. Yeah, stone tape theory. For some reason, we've activated the crystals. I'm just saying. No, but but butterfly feathers. But you changed the past. No, but it sounds quite bad. Okay. <laughs> When both our cameras are down, this is when it's going to happen. I'm still recording. Okay, so. It's back. A big noise. <laughs> I know they have the York, York. Oh, he's there again. Where the hell does he keep appearing from? <laughs> right, we're walking down there. Come on. <laughs> Come on, I'm putting this on the, on the tripod. We're walking down there. Yeah, I heard that. Not even busted out the uh, paranormal equipment yet. <laughs> Could, be. Long season. Could be bad elves. If he came from down there, there's too many alleyways. What's Pig Man gone? Oh, there's another one. Yeah, I walked right past that. It's got to be this way. Uh, let's regroup and get back to the spot and continue. <laughs> let's just leave Pigman to his devices. We never left the group. <laughs> still here. I thought there were six of us. Oh shit. Yeah. John Pigman and Ernie go. John? Ernie? Right, so we're going to take a, a right, just the, our next right down here. Random noises, you know, things the empty uh, space. So right now I'm at an area called Swine Gate, also known as Mad Alice Lane, and that's because a lady called Alice was wrongly convicted and hung in 1825 for a murder she did not commit. And she's said to haunt this area dramatically. Many people have seen her, but maybe it is the local drunks and the club that doesn't seem to shut down. Okay, so right now we're at the Minster in York and the park area is actually closed off. Um, it's locked and I was going to hop the gate because you know it's, it's only a park but they've got active police or security in here, came straight over, he knew he was here. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a little piece by the uh, Minster here in York 
and see if we can contact anyone. And don't forget, Guy Fawkes was born around the corner. And for those who don't know American viewers and stuff, Guy Fawkes is who we kind of celebrate in a weird way uh, on the 5th of November when we set bonfires and fireworks off. So yeah, if you don't know what that is, go and research, it's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm gonna get out some paranormal equipment. I'm gonna get out, the s not the spirit box, a bit too loud. We're going to get out the REM pod, I'm going to get out the cat balls, I'm going to get out the EVP recorder and we're going to try and make contact you already know. Okay, so some of the paranormal stuff I'm going to go with. I'm going to pull out the Alice box because we have some really good stuff with the Alice box. I'm also going to pull out the music box. Again, we've had good uh, experiences with that. And I'm going to pull out the REM pod almost. Oh, the REM pod also. And... The EVP recorder, why not? <laughs> the hell was that? Welcome to York, boys and girls. Switch it on. Is that its lowest yeah. setting? Yeah. Cat balls going off. Yeah. Cat balls going off. What? Well, I'm recording, so I would have caught it. Do you want it at its lowest setting? Or? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Like, there's no way we can set this off. There's no way that just went off. All right. Okay. So cat balls gone off. And we weren't even paying attention. Where have I caught it? Yeah, you probably stand. Do you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this up here. That's my favourite thing. Yeah, the Alice oh, box. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's good. We've had really good experiences with the Alice box. We just had to wait for like 10 minutes while yeah. a couple of people had a mating ritual in the corner. Um, so yeah, okay, so today we are at York and uh, yeah, let's just make ourselves known. Uh, my name is Dan. I'm here in York today to find out if it truly is the most haunted city in the UK. So you can make yourselves known and uh, claim that title. Represent. Represent. Oh. No Represent. The re so. so the representing, that's, um, yeah. all right. Who are you representing? Cat. What? A cat? Oh yeah, cats just run past. It's a fox. Isn't that? Oh, it's a fox. Is it? Yeah, it's a fox. Sorry. Right, what do you represent? Are you representing York? <laughs> screams and <laughs> sounds like a gargoyle over there. that never sleeps. Not in New York. Yeah. Just yeah. York. <laughs> yeah. um, I know you've already set the cat ball off, but if you are in the presence, just touch that ball and make it light up, and then we'll know you're here. before you can do it again. Crossover. Right. Have you crossed over? Or do you want to? What did it mean the thing that touched the cat ball has crossed over? Almost. Almost. I try to cross over. Are you stuck from crossing over? Do you need help? Shaken. What's that say? Shaken. Yeah. Shaken. Shaken. Are you scared? Are you scared of us? Or are you scared to cross over? Did 
to give this a bit more legitimacy, we need you to ideally set off that little ball there, just so we know we're definitely speaking to someone and this is not just automated. So you can set that ball off now and then say something then, I'll be convinced. Just have to touch it. Trying to say that oh, you chain, can't move. Chain, chain, yeah. Maybe here she can move. Stuck. Maybe it's a transfer. Paint. Oh, that's just been oh, painted. Oh, that's, that's just been painted, yes. That's yeah. got barriers around it saying wet paint. Mm. I don't know, maybe. Are you by the fence? Phantom singer. It's loud, but I can't see anyone. If he comes over, it's, we'll just tell him where York's got talent with <laughs> <laughs> Right, so we've got the music box set up there facing into the park, so if you are in the park, all you need to do is come close to the railings. That will let us know that you are there. Also, we've got the cat ball on there. It's a flashing ball. Touch that, it'll flash. And we also have this electronic device here that you can manipulate to say words to us like that. River. River. Are you still here with us? It's gone quiet. Yeah. Really quiet. Oh, oh. Famous. Talking about flex. Were <laughs> <laughs> you famous? They could have been famous. Might be Guy Fawkes. I was going to say. Is your name Guy Fawkes? seem like there's any kind of activity here. It's very neutral. Can you make the cat ball go off? Can you touch it there? Have you left? I think we uh, pack these bits up and let's head to a different location. Yeah. yeah. So we've just done our first bit of uh, investigating here in York and so far super quiet. Luckily it's starting to die down on the streets so we might be able to get some footage on the streets ghost hunting before the sun comes up and while all the ramblers have gone home. <laughs> <laughs> right okay so let's let's get to the drawing board here let's plan this right so currently we are stood here in front of the uh, the it's not a cathedral, is it? Minster. It's minster. Right, minster. <laughs> minster. Right, we're stood here in front of the minster, like I said. And what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to walk down this path here, which is situated over there. Minister. And uh, going between here, and if we get to here, we can bypass that security guard and maybe get a because um, right here is the treasurer's house. That's the treasurer's house there. So if we can get a video in between here, I think that's where the spirits will lie. Let's try okay. it. And if not, we head back down this bit, right, and down here, and this takes us into the shamble area around here, so we'll go back to the shambles. Okay? Yeah. Right, let's go. <laughs> if I stand here, can you throw that ball off again? Is that my direction? I'm starting to think it actually was like pushed off. It looked like, and it, it didn't check the yeah. 
I don't know if it. I don't know if it. It reacted like because it rolled off, hit that, and then flung off. I have to check the camera. Don't know if you guys saw that on the camera. Slow it down. Zoom in. Let me know down below if you uh, what you thought of that. But none of the other devices are going off, which worries me. Then we need to move to a different area. Well, yeah, because you think if something can physically push something, surely it can set off a music box or a, or a spirit at uh, the REM pod. Map. Map. Well, we've just been at the map. Mm. But again. Well, if it was you, thank you for pushing the cat ball, but we just need you. Check. Check. Check, map. I mean, completely random. Right, well, you've got one last chance. Uh, we're going to leave to another location, so you've got one chance to go and set one of those devices off. If you go in front of that one, it'll play some music. If you touch this one, it'll make a beep. Right, time to pack up and go to the next location. What? Yeah. Yeah. You need the light on. Yeah. You put it on. Just makes a better viewing, even if it is quite dim. Okay, so I've switched to full spectrum. We've got the REM pod, the music box, which is pointing towards those buildings, and we've got the Alice box, all three of the best bits of equipment on there, ready to go. You guys ready? Yeah. Is there anyone in this uh, square with us today? that would like to come out and say hello let us know that you're there if you can go over to these devices here walk into them touch them and we'll know you're there eggs what's that? Eggs, eggs. eggs or thank eggs eggs yeah, eggs oh. eggs old Old oh so it said old eggs, okay. That sounds delicious. What about eggs? Winter. No 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 no. What was that? See? No, no. It's not just winter. What? Suicide winter. No way. Uh, mm. Let's have a look. That is, isn't it? Oh. Suicide oh my winter. God. Why did it not say that? Mm -mm. Sometimes it'll put two words out and only say one because it'll come out like women. Those. 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 Mm. Someone commits suicide here in Winton. Yeah, potentially. If um, if you commit suicide here in the winter, if we've got that correct, could you set off one of the devices, please? Gonna 
and just touch the rampart by the red light. It'll make a noise to let us know you're here. Or you can walk in front of that box and that plays music. So it was winter, yeah. not it was the winter weather, not winter the name. Mm. Angry. Oh, why are you angry? Muscle. Muscle. Kill. Oh, oh, oh. Kill. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hmm. Fast. Killed fast. Do you want to have a quick walk in front of that music box and make sure it's definitely working? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So I mean that's that it's quite a hard thing to go off so when it goes off it's yeah. like quite spooky. Shaken. Shaken again. again. Is this the same person that we were speaking to last time? Were you shaken to death as a child? So it's a good thing we're doing the thumbnails now, <laughs> so you, we don't have to listen to Be My Girl. Like what time era are we in? Like... Yeah, it's like, who the hell plays that song? No. It's 1998 like, that came out. Yeah, it's like they've had a drink and transported back to... Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, so we're just setting up and that's... That's going off. The K2 meter is, uh, is spiking. What there? Yeah, looks good. It's like constant as well. My phone's been in my pocket the whole time and it's not been doing it. It's like this whole area. How weird is that? I tilt it like that, does it? I tilt it like that, it goes. Oh no, now it's going. Oh, how weird is that? Look at that. So there's like an energy. There's here something's here. Oh, if there's a, an energy here. there, could you just make it spike a bit more? Look, look. Go over here. Goes. Oh. Watch. Look. It's just in this little area. Oh, it's gone. Weird. It's gone. Oh, no, it's oh. back. I don't know. There's it's right. There. Right here, right, hold on. Wait, it could be where it's going weaker. all these shops. Look, it's gone off. Yeah, what? but you would have it here. There's nothing above there. Watch. Watch. Look, it's there. What, there's, there's yeah. a, a source of power here. Could it be underground? Yeah. Could it be underground? No, because it will find it spike more. Ah, uh, it'd get that, yeah. There's no, like, power lines above this or anything. Hmm. Mm, it's weird. We're gonna turn it over here, look, it's gone. Yeah. Look at that. Maybe it leaves that on. Like on the floor. Yeah, think about putting it here. Look, it's gone completely. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I should maybe leave it on just as a, an extra. Alright, uh, this is some of the last of yours. We've got something to do. Alright, Steve. Else. This is the issue with public places. 
still got some ramblers rambling. Right, so we're in the shambles right now. And they're pop popping out from all kinds of alleyways and Right, okay, we are in the shambles right now. It is about 3.30 a.m. Am I correct at the time, is it? It is 3.41. Okay, 3.41 in the morning. Uh, most of the people have cleared out. There's a couple of people walking by, but they will clear off, and we're going to start the investigation inside the shambles. Now, I've never seen anyone do the shambles before. I'm not saying it hasn't been done, but I haven't seen it, so I'm interested and uh, curious to see if we do get anything, because this is one of the oldest locations um, that is still standing in York. This is all original, uh, like I said, dating back 700 years. So, so let's crack open the paranormal equipment and see what we find. Okay, we've got the equipment set up. We've got uh, K2. We've got a K2 meter on there. We've got the. <sighs> nah, it won't come down here. No, it is. No, it can't do it. There's no way it could possibly. It is. I mean, it can't get down here, there's no way. There's no way it could drive down there. Yeah, I know. It's just not supposed to be. It will be. That's right, we'll get it in a minute. So yeah, weirdly we've had uh, the K2 meter going off um, spontaneously. And in this area here, it was going off uncontrollably every time we came towards it. Um, and it just seemed to be this area here. When I took it half a metre over that way, it would then go back to its normal baseline. So that was kind of weird. So we've got it set up there. We've got the other stuff set up behind me. We're going to crack on as quick as we can. Seagulls have already been out. It's almost four o'clock in the morning. Let's, let's get to it. I think we're ready. I think. If there is any spirits lingering around in the shambles, you want to make yourself known. We are here. It's the first time it's gone off in ages. Very. It's not gone off for about 10 minutes. Yeah. If you want to make yourselves known, come over and touch our devices if you don't know where they are. But the things are the little lights on. Uh, we do not have much time at all because people are coming to work pretty soon, so please come over and make yourselves known. Lot. There's a lot of ghosts. A very lot. Very, very lot. There's a very lot of ghosts here. Are there more than one ghost spirit here? That before. Sometimes it'll say one word and not the other. Strange. Strange shift. Strange shift. 
I know you've uh, that's been going off a lot tonight, but we definitely need one or the other devices to go off. Just that music box in particular. If you can set that off, I would be super happy. So as we're saying there, sometimes it'll say a word, and sometimes it'll keep a word silent. So sometimes you don't notice all of the words, so you've got to double back on yourself and check. Come on, you can do it. We haven't got a lot of time. Just go over, just like this. Make it flash. You can do it for us just once before we have to leave. Well, it's really happy. I'll walk in front of this music box next to me. Oh, that's, that's going up. That's, that's gone up one. I have caught that. So the K2 meter is spiking. Can you make this one go off? This device here. You're not going to have many other chances to do this because we'll be leaving soon. Yeah, the street sweeper is going to be down here pretty soon. I can hear it in the distance, so we're a lot more peaceful than they are. Come on, just do one thing and it'll make my your trip worth coming for. That's going off again, K2 meter is going off. Maybe um, put the REM pod next to the K2 meter. Weirdly, that's going off. Right, K2 meter is still spiking. You can make it turn yellow. If you get a bit closer to it, it'll go off again. Well, it's walked away from it. Right, it's getting closer. Go on a bit closer to it. Because there's no reasonable explanation why there should be a difference in, in an uh, electromagnetic field there. Look, look at that. We've all uh, stood over here. Field. Yeah, there shouldn't be, there's no reason at all for that to be it going. It won't be my camera, will it? No, not no. at all, no. It's not admitting anything now. I mean, that's why the, the REM pod's not setting it off. Come on, if that is you near there, just do it again. Just as hard as you can. Sorry, just to show you, because I know your phone's on the, let your phone on the end. So, who's phone's on? Yeah, just to show you, look. Fail. Fail. The form will only oh. set it off when you're right next to it. Look at that. Right. So it's not set off by that. No. Monument. Monument. Which monument are you talking about? There's plenty here in York. about it like this, we're stood in 700 years of history that was me. that's happened here, walking down the street, 700 well, years of residual well. energy. Very surprised. I'm shocked, in fact. With my one device go off apart from the house box, but that can just spit words out randomly. It feels it's, it's such an old place, one would think that 
at least someone would still be here. That's what I mean. It's such a, even if you go down to like the theories of residual energy and in the stone and stuff, you would mm. think that you would get something. Maybe that could have been people walking past the... It could have been. The lights just didn't rocks. engage you. Rocks. Yeah, it's the rocks, like, like you just said. Mm. It's the rocks that have like quartz crystal embedded into them. It gets memories that get stored in it somehow get replayed. Yeah. There's a famous one, and actually there's one in York, and um, I think it was a decorator witness. Run off again. Huh? Run off again. A decorator witnessed. Well, rocks contain, so maybe that means that they have the container. Maybe. A uh, decorator witnessed um, some Roman soldiers walking through a basement but they they were knee deep in the floor and that's because back then the, the ground was much lower and that to me screams like a like a residual playback um, somehow a memory in time has got played back and um, it's, it's activated I don't know how but they say quartz crystal holds more memory than any kind of hard drive we have on the planet and this is how it's stored and we don't know how we don't know how to play back but sometimes it just randomly does it just told us to sleep sleep yeah well that's going off still are we interrupting your sleep mm. people don't make them these do they probably so mm. Right, yeah. we'll, we'll give you two more minutes. Shut up. Shut up. It's completely random. Yeah. We'll give you two more minutes. Two more minutes to decide if you want to come and say hello. If you don't, then we are going to pack up and leave. We can't force you to come out, but just know we, we don't mean you any harm. We just want to see if there is anyone still left uh, lingering on the shambles. Grand. Grand. Yeah, we need a grand finish. Give us a grand reason finale. to stay. Grand finale. Well, I forget. Give us a reason to stay. Or we're gonna we'll pack up and you'll not get a chance again. You can make that light up. Why can't you do anything else? You could just be like sat resting on 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 birth. Yeah. Psychic. Psychic. Oh, is that a flick of them? You were psychic, oh it's going yellow. Mm -hmm. Were you a psychic? I do you need a psychic? Well you're gonna have to give us some more information if you want us to help you. Do you need help? Do you think the box is psychic? The little device, this one. Well, looks like York is uh, kind of waking up while some people are heading home to bed. Silk. I'm kind of disappointed, but you can't get stuff every time, and that's right. Ready. Okay. Don't you worry about that. All right. We're not in about it, are we? Yeah, actually, that's just about what we was about to do, oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Do you need any out Let's go. 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 Let's Maybe not outdoors as well. Yeah, maybe indoors. Yeah, maybe maybe it is, but I just feel like this this area is so much history, so much history. Surely, if there was ever a place to be a good experiment for the stone tape theory, this would be it, with all the stone and the slate and stuff. Just too much going on. Yeah. Well, 
Am I intruding on something if I walk that way? No, no, go for it. Thanks, sir. Yeah, no worries. So I think we're just going to pack up. Pack up and, uh, yeah, try and catch a ghost next time. <laughs> and not a drunk. <laughs> Can't win them all. No, you can't win them all. So it's so isn't it? Like, try to do it. Yeah, well, maybe next time, Flex. Yeah. Maybe it was just... One day. Maybe, maybe there was, all the girls were scared of the girls. Oh, maybe. Maybe. If my hair's scared of them. Maybe they're just nervous. Could be anything. Maybe there's a lot of shy male ghosts. <laughs> mm. It'll happen one day. Well, we made it, Flex. We made it. So we got out of York and we're on our way home. It's daylight. Uh, what time is it now? Um, quarter to six. Quarter to six in the morning. Uh, it's slightly disappointed with the activity in York. Didn't find anything, in fact. But then again, it doesn't mean it's not haunted. It just means that we were unlucky on the night. Uh, but it was fun to walk through uh, all the spots, especially like the shambles and stuff when there's no tourists, because obviously these places, especially the shambles, are packed, especially at half term or any, any time where kids are not at school. It's utterly packed. So it was brilliant to walk through there and freely just walk through there. We are having to bump in and dodge people. <laughs> but yeah, we got a nice view. Weirdly, the uh, the motorway must be shut, so it sent us all the way down through Skipton to Colm, and we're gonna have to jump on the M65 at Colm. So yeah, on our way home, guys, if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that like button and subscribing. Click the bell, always notify. Stay tuned, I am back live streaming now. And stay tuned because I have some big announcements coming up for um, meetups and merchandise. I know I've not done merchandise in quite some time and I'm not gonna do for a little bit longer. The first merch will drop on the website October 1st. We are going all in for that Halloween merch again. And I thought, you know what, I'm not, not going to drop any until then. We're going to gear up fully for that one. And if you haven't already, consider going over and following my personal slash car Instagram, which is GTR Dan. On Instagram, you can follow and see all the car updates and just personal weird stuff on there. And don't forget to go and follow Flex, the Flex Tapes on YouTube and Instagram, you already know. And they, them pants are green. Yeah. I've just realised they're green. I've got pink ones as well. you got pink ones? Okay. And blue. It's, it must be a Cumbrian thing. No, I just like colours. <laughs> <laughs>